Top BJP leaders in Tripura ahead of the swearing in. According to sources, talks on for the BJP Tipra Moda post poll alliance. And amid the post poll violence, the left has decided to boycott the swearing in. A migrant labourer from Jharkhand has been arrested in Tamil Nadu for spreading rumours and staging a fake video. The Insolvency Court has approved a takeover plan for JP Infratech in Noida, raising hopes of 20,000 home buyers who have been waiting and paying EMIs for their homes for over a decade. Lalu Prasad Yadav questioned in the land for jobs case by the CBI today while Enforcement Directorate questions Manish Sisodia in Tihar as central agencies close in. Arvind Kejriwal asks why has the Karnataka BJP MLA who was found with cash not been arrested? Kerala Chief Minister's Private Secretary CM Ravindran questioned by ED for over 11 hours. BJP hits out at Rahul Gandhi over his comments in the UK, saying he's asking for Europe and US to interfere in India as Rahul Gandhi seems to back pedal his comments, says India's problems are an internal matter. Group Captain Shaleza Dhami creates history. She is appointed by the Indian Air Force to take command of a frontline combat unit in the Western sector. Hello, I'm Sneha Koshi and the top story that we are bringing you is from Tripura where the Manik Saha cabinet or Manik Saha government 2.0 is going to be sworn in on Wednesday. Left has decided to quit the swearing in to boycott the swearing in of Manik Saha 2.0 in Tripura in protest against the post poll violence. But what we are also hearing at this point is, according to sources, that there are talks on between the BJP and the Tipra Moda, which is a newly formed uh, government in Tripura, but managed to bag a good amount of seats in the recent elections. And there is talks on between the BJP and Tipra, uh, Tipra Moda as well. Uh, I'm being joined by my colleague Ratnadeep for more on this. So Ratnadeep, a couple of things on the cards. One, these talks between BJP and Tipra Moda. Also the decision on uh, the cabinet that is said to be sworn in, um, including a union minister. Decision on union minister, whether she will be whether she will continue in the center or whether she'll now take reins in uh, the state as well, Ratnadeep? That's right. In fact, uh, after the swearing in uh, of uh, Meghalaya and Nagaland, the focus tomorrow would be Tripura. In fact, uh, Union uh, Home Minister Amisha and Party President JP Nanda have already reached Agartala And what we are picking up from our sources in the BJP is that they have held a uh, long meeting with the state leadership, with the uh, Chief Minister designate Manik uh, Saha. And uh, the uh, discussion you know, circled around uh, what would be the formation of the Council of Ministers. Uh, and uh, if uh, what we are picking up is that uh, in Tripura, since it is a 60-member assembly, uh, the maximum uh, uh, number of ministers that can be in the Council of Ministers, including the Chief Minister, will be 12. But in all likelihood, BJP tomorrow would uh, uh, you know, sworn in uh, all the Chief Minister and a and couple of senior ministers. And uh, there would be space left uh, for LI IPFT. It is not clear whether the, uh, the because IPFT uh, has won only one seat, so naturally uh, the lone IPFT MLA, Shukla uh, Nwatiya, would become uh, a minister. But it's not it's unclear whether tomorrow he will uh, uh, be sworn in or not. Uh, in all possibility, he would be sworn in with BJP uh, uh, MLAs who would become minister. Uh, but what is important is that what we are picking up is that there have been a de deliberation on whether the Union Minister of State for Social Justice, uh, Pratima Bhomik, uh, would be uh, part of the cabinet in uh, Tripura or she would return back to Delhi. Because remember, uh, one way or the other, either if she comes back to Tripura, she will have to relinquish her uh, you know, member of parliament post. Uh, uh, otherwise, if she is, ret uh, is retained in centre, then she will have to give up 
uh, the Dhanpur seat, which she has won, it is a prestigious seat, which was with the left since the 70s. And what we are picking up from uh, sources is that the chances are high that she might actually be accommodated in uh, the Maniksa cabinet. Now, the question is whether she would be made deputy chief minister or not. We are told that there is a possibility uh, on which there has been discussion and the final call uh, would be taken uh, you know, uh, by tonight. And uh, that is one uh, big development as far as the Council of Ministers. And BJP would leave out about three to four uh, cabinet berths. They will not uh, spawn in all the people, all their ministers. And that is precisely done uh, because the talks with Tipra Motha part, party, informal talks, have been on ever since the re results came out. And what we are picking up from Tipra Motha party sources is that there is a high possibility that tomorrow, after the swearing in, uh, a delegation from Tipra Motha party on the invite of BJP would meet Union Home Minister Amit Shah and JP Nadda. Right. The delegation would comprise of the party chief, Pradyut Manika Dev Burman, all the 13 MLAs and top leaders. So this would be a very interesting development uh, to look at because Tipra Motha has become the uh, you know, uh, second largest party and the BJP had squarely attacked the Tipra Motha party during its campaign. So whether these two parties can come together in a possible situation will be something to watch for. Meanwhile, the uh, left has decided to boycott uh, the uh, uh, swearing-in program as a, was, as a mark of protest. That's what they claim, because there have been sustained uh, post-war violence uh, in the state, which the left says that the caretaker, uh, chief minister, which is Manik Saha himself, has not been able to address to. Right. Thank you, Ratadeep, for those details. And in Tamil Nadu, police has arrested a migrant worker from Jharkhand for allegedly spreading rumours. The worker and his friends, according to police, uh, had sought help on social media, alleging attack in Tamil Nadu. And now one of these migrant workers from Jharkhand has been arrested. In fact, goes on to confess that it was a staged video, a fake video that they had created allegedly for publicity. यहाँ पर हिंदी वाला के वो यहाँ से चेन्नई से भगाया जा रहा है हम लोग के है कि बिनती है सरकार से ही है कि हम लोग से यह कैसे भी हम लोग निकालने का रास्ता बताए कैसे निकले एक आदमी के हमारे बस से घिस के मार दिया है जा रहे थे तो बस से भी मार दिया ट्रेन से भी दो आदमी के मार दिया एक आदमी घायल है यहाँ पर देखिए हमारा आदमी सामने खड़ी है देखिए चोट लगा है इसका हॉस्पिटल से भी हम लोग के भी कोई गुंजाइश नहीं है हमारा सरकार व्यवस्था करे कि हम लोग कैसे निकले यही हम अपने सरकार से विनती मांग रहे हैं क्या करें हम लोग हमारा दोस्त लोग क्या किया वीडियो देख करके और वीडियो फल्स वीडियो डाल दिया क्या तमिलनाडु में पच्चीस साल से रह रहा हूँ कोई दिक्कत नहीं है खाना पीना रहने के लिए पानी सब कुछ मिल रहा है कोई दिक्कत नहीं है हमारा जो वीडियो है वो फल्स वीडियो है वो फेमस होने के लिए हमारा दोस्त लोग डाल दिया वो सब झूठा बात है एंड द एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट Questioned Aam Aadmi Party leader Mani Sisodia in Tihar Jain, seen as a precursor to another arrest after his arrest by the CBI. While the CBI questioned RJD's Lalu Prasad Yadav at his daughter Misa's home in Delhi in the Land for Jobs case. The opposition has claimed its leaders are being targeted by the government through central agencies. Arvind Kejriwal hit out at the Prime Minister saying why the Karnataka BJP MLA in whose house cash was seized has not even been arrested. Meanwhile, in Kerala, Chief Minister Pinrai Vijayan's key aide, Private Secretary Ravindran, was questioned for over 11 hours by the Enforcement Directorate. The CBI at former Bihar Chief Minister Lalu Prasad Yadav's home to question him in the Land for Job case. Also in Delhi, the Enforcement Directorate questioned former Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia in the liquor policy money laundering case. देश भर के सरकारी स्कूलों का बुरा हाल है। आजादी के 75 साल बाद एक ऐसा शख्स आया जिसने सरकारी स्कूलों की काया पलट दी। वो शख्स है मनीष सिसोदिया। देश भर में सरकारी अस्पतालों का बुरा हाल है। यहाँ गरीब मजबूरीवश अपना इलाज करवाने जाते हैं। आजादी के 75 साल बाद एक ऐसा शख्स आया जिसने सरकारी अस्पतालों की दशा बदल दी मोहल्ला क्लिनिक का एक नया मॉडल दिया वो शख्स है सतेंद्र जैन जिस देश के प्रधानमंत्री 
लोगों को अच्छी शिक्षा और अच्छा इलाज देने वालों को तो जेल में डाल दें और देश को लूटने वालों का साथ दें उस देश की स्थिति बहुत चिंताजनक है The Delhi Chief Minister also retweeted a post which pointed out how a BJP MLA's son was caught with 40 lakh rupees and how he got bail. Kerala Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan wrote to the Prime Minister supporting the Aam Aadmi Party protest against Sisodia's arrest and underlining that Sisodia is being targeted for political reasons. The BJP hit out at the opposition parties for politicizing criminal investigations, stating that the government will act strongly against the corrupt. Kal Rabri ji par raid hui. आज लालू जी पर चल रही है रेड के बारे में मुझे कुछ नहीं कहना है लेकिन देख रहे हैं कि क्या जदयू क्या विपक्षी और क्या आरजेडी पूछताछ पर चिल्ला रहे हैं लालू प्रसाद जी रेल मंत्री थे तो रेलवे के दो बड़े बड़े होटल रांची में और भुवनेश्वर में एक कंपनी को बेचे गए कि नहीं और वो कंपनी ने पटना की एक बहुत बड़ी अपनी जमीन नई नई कंपनी बना के परिवार को दी कि नहीं दी जहां बिहार का सबसे बड़ा मॉल बन रहा था रोहिणी आचार्य डॉटर ऑफ लालू प्रसाद यादव टुक टू ट्विटर टू हाईलाइट द फैक्ट दैट हर एलिंग फादर हु इज जस्ट रिकवरिंग आफ्टर अ किडनी ट्रांसप्लांट इज बीइंग हैरेस्ड बाय द एजेंसीज The joint letter by nine opposition parties to Prime Minister Narendra Modi over alleged misuse of central agencies was an initiative of K Chandrasekhar Rao and Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. Interestingly, parties like DMK, which share same sentiment, stayed away from this letter because Congress was not a signatory to this particular letter, and so to say, Congress was not even consulted by these opposition parties before writing to Prime Minister Narendra Modi. With camera person Prem Singh, this is Arvind Gunasekhar for NDTV TV. And as the opposition claims they are being targeted by the central agencies, the Karnataka BJP MLA Madhul Viru Pakshapa, who at whose house cash was seized, in fact bundles of cash were seized, received a hero's welcome at his hometown in Davangere. He made an appearance after pre-arrest bail, for, or the anticipatory bail from the High Court. The MLA had gone missing for five days after his son. was arrested along with four others while taking a bribe of uh, 40 lakh rupees in fact bundles of cash were recovered from the mla's home where his son also lives as well as the mla's office uh, by the lokayukta The BJP hit out at Rahul Gandhi today for his comments in the UK claiming he was seeking foreign intervention and shaming the country on foreign soil after Rahul Gandhi spoke on democracy under threat in India and how the world is watching but in its in his latest statements Rahul Gandhi seemed to do a U-turn saying erosion of democracy in India was an internal matter Rahul Gandhi's speeches in London have created a massive political slugfest back home Rahul's SOS on India's democracy on the foreign soil has been met with a strong retort from the BJP. Is the essence of the thing. Well, how would you react if something, a, a structure, three and a half times Europe, suddenly went non-democratic? Right, that's happened already. That's not something that is going to happen in the future. That's already happened. But there's no reaction. The BJP has shredded the Congress Member of Parliament for what it calls an attempt to malign India abroad and seek foreign intervention. Kharge Sahab, Rashtriya Dalit Congress Party, Bhajpa, आप से जानना चाहती है कि क्या आप युवराज राहुल गांधी के इस टिप्पणी का समर्थन करते हैं? नहीं करते तो उसको डिसोन करिए, वरना स्पष्ट होगा कि आप भी साथ खड़े हैं. In an apparent backpedaling. Raul tried to nuance his stance on alleged erosion of democracy in India calling it an internal matter. Right it's an internal problem it's an Indian problem and the the solution is going to come from inside it's not going to come from from outside. However the scale of Indian democracy means that democracy in India is a global public good. Apart from attacking the BJP, Rahul has also launched a scathing attack on the RSS in London, calling it a fascist organization. But the nature of the 
democratic contest in India has completely changed. And the reason it's changed is because one organization called the RSS, um, fundamentalist fascist organization, has basically captured pretty much all of Indian, India's institutions. आपने संघ की तुलना मुस्लिम ब्रदरहुड से की थी इससे बड़ी कोई शर्मनाक बात हो सकती है कंडेमनेबल भरसना योग्य राष्ट्रीय स्वयंसेवक संघ एक राष्ट्रवादी संगठन है 1925 से देश की सेवा राष्ट्रभक्ति राष्ट्र सेवा राष्ट्र संकल्प और राष्ट्र समर्पण में संघ ने बहुत बड़ा काम किया है Rao speeches abroad have constantly raised BJP's hackles that has attacked the Congress leader for internationalizing domestic issues. With bureau input Sunil Prabhu and the TV. And in a very unfortunate incident, at least 15 people were killed and over 100 others injured on Tuesday in an explosion at a seven-story building in Bangladesh's capital. Several firefighting units were rushed to the spot after the blast, which occurred around 4.50 p.m. there. According to reports, it's a commercial building where the blast took place, located in the Siddiq Bazaar in Dhaka. It has uh, several sto it has uh, several stories and offices. The explosion has been reported to many to have been occurred at a store. The building has several stores for sanitary products on the bottom floor, but the exact cause is not known yet. The injured were taken to Dhaka Medical College Hospital. And an army court awarded a life sentence to Army Captain Bhupinder Singh, who led his men in what's now been found to have been a fake encounter in Shopian in 2020. But the sentencing is cold comfort for the family of the two men who were killed. This also comes at a time when the army is facing allegations of a custodial death of a civilian in Kupwara. For the last three years after her husband, Abrar Ahmed was shot dead by soldiers of the Indian Army, Shireen has lulled her five-year-old into believing his father is alive and he will come back home one day. She didn't lose just her husband that day. 23-year-old Shireen's brother, Muhammad Ibrar, a cousin, Imtiaz Ahmed were also killed in July 2020 in what now has been proven to be a staged encounter in Siopia district of Jammu and Kashmir. An army court has awarded a life sentence to army captain Bhupinder Singh who led his men in this operation and gunned down the villagers claiming they were heavily armed Pakistani terrorists, which they were not. They were from the Gujar community who worked as laborers in Shopia. As the families protested and contested the initial claim made by the army, a court of inquiry was instituted and after evidence was submitted, the soldiers were indicted. The army's decision comes at a time when it is facing another allegation of custodial death of a civilian in Kupwara. Last week, the body of Abdur Rashid Dar was found 75 days after he was picked up by the army from his home. Meanwhile, the army has said Dar escaped from their custody. Even as army court verdict is subject to the confirmation by the army headquarters, completion of court martial proceedings into Shopia fake encounter case brings some closure to the victim families. In Srinagar, Nazir Masudi, Findy TV. And it's of course the holy fever across the country. And people in several states have already celebrated or started celebrating holy. Here's a look at the celebrations in different parts of the country. Pushkar, Vrindavan, Dibrugarh and Kolkata. We leave you with these visuals and of course wishing all of our viewers a very happy and safe holy.